With over 2,000 manufacturers and 13,000 brands, New York City is being recognized as a leader in the next industrial revolution. Join us as we meet with some of New York's rising stars and industry leaders. From CFDA President Stephen Kolb. New York is considered one of the four global fashion capitals. It has a significant footprint in fashion. To New York City's Deputy Mayor, Alicia Glenn. I think the future of manufacturing in New York is not necessarily large-scale production. What we have to offer is really unique um, access to markets. Surrounded by thousands of manufacturers, media, and retail opportunities, New York ranks as one of the top three cities to start a business. And I'm your guide, Matthew Burnett, CEO of Makers Row, and this is Makers Row New York City. I'm here with Gigi Burris O'Hara, owner of Gigi Burris Millinery. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. What got you into millinery? You know, I always loved working with my hands, and I studied ready to wear at Parsons School of Design. And I anticipated doing ready to wear, and that's what I studied at Parsons, um, how to construct clothing. And I had always loved this idea of surface embellishment on clothing, and I had always loved this romantic idea of couture and handwork. And when I studied abroad in Paris, it was there that I just really fell in love with craft, and then I fell in love with millinery specifically. So you were a finalist in the CFDA uh, Vogue Fashion Fund. What was that like? How has that affected your career? So oh, I was so blessed to be chosen to be part of the Vogue Fashion Fund. Going through that kind of rigorous program and competition, I really defined a lot about what the brand was gonna, going to become. I have to say Vogue and CFDA through that program just like completely catapulted um, who we are today. My manufacturing, my um, distribution, everything expanded. So I feel very grateful to have gone through that at such an early stage in my career. So tell me a little bit about the manufacturing space here in New York, what your experience has been. I feel so blessed to be able to manufacture everything in New York City. Making millinery is a very trained craft. So I partner with a factory that used to be in the Garment Center, and we've worked with them since the beginning. And the factory was started by his grandmother, and it's just amazing because they employ all these trained artisans that know how to sew straw, block felts, finish hats, it's incredible. And there's an amazing um, facility here in Midtown that provides importing of all the felts, all of the straws, all of um, any millinery wires. So it's, it's fantastic to be able to have that resource that's just like a one train stop away that I can go to Midtown and get millinery thread or hot blocks. Um, it's pretty cool. What does that mean for your business to be so close to your manufacturer? For us, I mean, we are such a small team and we're growing so quickly that it's just so fantastic to have that sort of transparency and have that sort of efficiency. That like, I can go out to my factory and I can spend the whole day working with them, developing new techniques, making sure we're on hand, um, on track for production, that we have materials on hand. It's amazing. And you know, like any small business, we thrive on relationships. So to be able to like know who I'm working with, know their families, know a little bit of their story, um, I think that's awesome. What have you recognized New York to be, to provide to designers that's very unique to New York? When I graduated college, I came to college in New York. I had to come to New York. New York is like the place you come. You build a community and that community expands and you all kind of rise together. So when I was young, you know, my, assist my friends were stylist assistants and you know, now they're stylists and we have this rapport and it's amazing. So I feel like New York above any other place has a sense of community and people can rise up together. You know, people really help one another and, and the CFDA in particular has created this family in a way and I think that that's really awesome that we have that in New York. What's the most exciting part about being a fashion designer in New York? <gasps> oh my gosh, I think the most exciting thing about being a fashion designer in New York in particular would be, you know, just that like you, if you made it here, you kind of have made it, I think. Um, so I'm really proud that I'm, we're made in New York and um, I'm here in New York, I'm in Manhattan. I think that's a huge accomplishment because like, it's the hardest place I think to make it in the world.